everyone. On this beautiful full moon, I would like to share with you a very inspiring story. And it is from Esther Perel, who is a relationship psychologist from Belgium. And she grew up in a community where everyone was a Holocaust survivor. And as she was growing up, she observed two types of people. One who did not die after this horrible experience, and the other who came back to life. Those who did not die tried to avoid meeting with life as life was dangerous and not to be trusted. They closed down. The other who came back to life tried to meet with life on a widest surface possible. They wanted to reinvent themselves, uh, claim their creativity, their liveness in themselves and in others. They wanted to have purpose, meaning, joy, creation, creativity in their lives. Esther Perel called this creativity, this joy, this flow of creation in oneself, erotic. Not in a narrow sexual term, but as a wide um, flowing life force. I am sharing this story on full moon because full moon is about emotions, actions, decisions. And I feel that the past two months we birthed ourselves to a new place globally. And this new place is a little bit raw. It's a little bit um, mm, still unsure. And it requires from us to make a very definite decision about which way are we going to go in the future. It is really an archetypal story when a hero or a heroine goes on a journey and comes to a crossroad and has to make a decision which way to go from now on. Usually in every story, every story that there is, something or someone is present at a crossroad. And it is almost always a presentation of the feminine. Either it is a maiden or a wise old woman, or there is a well, or there is a spring, but there is something to support the seeker uh, to connect to his intuitive, authentic, feelings to his heart. So I'm inviting you on this full moon to sit at this crossroad, whatever crossroad your life brings, whatever choices you have to make and feel into it. Feel if it is going to lead you only to survival or it is going to lead you back to life, into creation, into your heart, connecting, loving, hugging your mother, supporting your children, talking to your neighbor, deeper into being human.